Let's get back outside. Take another look at this forecast, Gary. All of a sudden, skies look very threatening. Yeah, well, they do, but this is not the big storm complex that's coming in. These are leading edge showers, and actually, it's kind of working over the atmosphere a little bit, and it may soften the blow of the storms a little bit later today. That's not a sure bet. But right now, that's what I'm leaning towards. Bordner Home Improvement City Cam. South winds coming in at, again, a very blustery period. Look at the 40 mile an hour winds. Atchison, St. Joe, and Lawrence all clocking winds up to 40 miles per hour. These are just big, strong, early spring winds that are blowing in, but it's blowing in some warm air. Richmond at 78 degrees. Maryville's there too. And Sedalia winning the race now. That's 79, 74 degrees is the official reading. Overcast skies. It's tough at this time of the year to hit mid 70s with thick cloud cover, but we're doing it. And temperatures stay in the 70s through 9 o'clock. Upper 60s will follow. Better rain chances late tonight if those storms in central Kansas ever get started and rolling. 62 degrees out the door, south winds at about 12 to 16. And the wind isn't going away tonight, and it stays pretty brisk again tomorrow. But temperatures don't go anywhere. Steady temperatures basically all day long. No more than 2 degrees higher or really 2 degrees lower through the bulk of the day. Now, scattered showers are still being found out there west of Topeka. A few are starting to gather a little bit more strength. This still isn't very strong, though. It is producing a little bit of thunder and lightning just to the south of uh, Emporia. And this one here west of Osage City, also producing a couple of rumbles. But this is the storm system itself, and I'm really anticipating more storms to develop in this region. It's just not happening, at least as of yet. But those storms will eventually blow through, and it looks like we'll be hearing some rumbles of thunder here, maybe at about 3 o'clock in the morning. First little wave of storms could arrive at about 11 o'clock tonight. But right now, it looks like those 3 o'clock in the morning storms may be the loudest. Here's a look at that severe weather risk area. It does show Kansas City and the metro right in the extreme eastern edge of this. These storms should begin falling apart before they reach us, but sometimes... As these storms fall apart, it can put out a pretty good little gust of wind. That may be our biggest threat coming during the overnight hours. Large hail, 15%. Wind, also a 15% threat. Storm Track 5 forecast track. Storm system itself, the big one, spins away. Could leave us a little shower late Friday night, likely after you're done celebrating the end of the work week Friday evening. And in the rain gauge, you should have at least a half inch, I'd say, and in some cases, upwards of an inch, which would certainly be welcome after our dry week. 63 is your high tomorrow, but keep in mind the low is 62. 54 on Thursday, yellow weather alert, still raining, and then Friday, 69, a nice little bump. Weekend's looking good, but look at those mornings, down into the 40s. In fact, by next Tuesday, we could have low temperatures in the upper 30s, a little bit of springtime see your breath weather, early next week. Carolyn, I'll be back along in the next 30 minutes with a closer look at those storms and hopefully a little bit of development from some of those storms in central Kansas. All right. Thank you, Gary. We'll talk to you more about it here 